Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. Carter was working on the stairs over here when an animal attack popped in. And these guys. So where are they going to hit us? Are they going to be nice and just go through our death trap? Or are they going to going to uh, make it tough and come around and start pecking at the walls or something? Our crazy chickens. Oh, we're coming to... Oh, 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 oh. Boom! Yep, the missiles are 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 alive. They just don't know what those things are. Okay, now they're going to attack mode. So we don't have anybody. Oh, the laser's kicking in. It's a slow motion thing. The lasers don't work that fast like the guns do, but the traps help out holding them down and and uh, letting the laser do its thing. If you had several lasers, it'd make a difference. But I don't want to invest the power into several of the uh, of the lasers. Anyway, how you doing? <laughs> Back to uh, going to sleep. Kind of an extension of last episode here. So Carter's going to pop these guys in, replace the stairs that I tore up, trying to experiment with the new uh, pasture. But I think this will work just fine. So Edmund, on your way to... Bed. Oh, he just built that. That was the thump. Edmund, go ahead and take that out on the way. And I guess that's it. You guys go to bed. All right, so now's the time when I would have started the episode. About 5 a.m., dawn. Rita's up. Simon's up. Carter and Edmund are still sleeping. Rita's going to grab some, I think it's grain, to go tame the Dracas. And Simon is going to take over some of Umayar's jobs and uh, transport and clean up and handle local stuff. So Rita's heading out to the little pink dudes over here. <laughs> They're highlighted. And you take grain to tame. Okay. So Simon picking up all the goods and clean this place up before we head out. I think I mentioned last time I'm going to send them home from basically from right to left here. Edmund first, then Simon, then Rita, then then Carter. I think that is the most logical order. Edmund and Carter are pretty similar in their capabilities, so I'll leave the most experienced one behind for last. Simon does a lot of miscellaneous. Rita plants and, and cooks, and Carter does the heavy lifting. So these three would make a great team, and I think that's the order to take the team apart. So Edmund's up and eating. Carter is just waking up. Simon's still doing cleanup work. And Rita made it out over here. Scaring all the all the other ones off. Look at all the berries. So many. Oh, these are our berries. These are part of the 3,000 berries that are in the inventory. But aren't actually down in the, uh, in the freezer yet. Alright, Taming Draka which I assume that means this one at the moment. No kind of a countdown indicator, so it's just a matter of watching her try to talk her way in there. Oh, she put the grain down. Another malfunction ceiling lamp. She's walking away. He's going to tentatively walk over there and maybe taste the grain. Uh-huh. And and he's made a new friend. Look at the little danglies. <laughs> Got a buddy? Let's see here. Let's see if it works. I don't know if there's a percentage chance tame failed. Oh, there is a percentage chance. You can try again after a cooldown period. Okay. The other ones we, we nailed, even though it was the same level 5 to pull it off. Oh, oh chance of retaliation, 20%. I didn't notice that, but she should be able to fend for herself unless they all join in and help, help them out. So is she going to go for another round, or is she on her way home? She's harvesting. Okay. Uh, tame failed. That noise just came delayed. All right, so ceiling lamp is over here. There were two of them. 
thought there was another message a while ago. Maybe that one's already been repaired. Yeah, Edmund's working on this one now. Okay. So that's done. Insufficient storage space. Don't have anywhere to put our ores right now. Um, I guess we're kind of full here, though. It seems like something here could be combined, but uh, perhaps not. Oh, well, if it sits on the ground, it'll be fine. Not too worried about it. Um, Rita is ill. Pneumonia. Oh, she needs another round of antibiotics. Okay. Well, either Simon or Edmund will take care of her there. All right, so what else is going on? Edmund is scavenging all the way up here. Now, we're going to turn that off. And we're going to turn these off. No point making those long runs for that. You've got ships that are right nearby. There we go. So, Edmund, why don't you grab that one? Carter, you are scavenging. So I guess we're going to clean up the, uh, the nearby ships. So in that case... Well, you were heading to, like, this one. I guess that's not too far away, but what else is closer? Maybe this one. And these are already set. That one. Yeah, that's enough for now. Nothing back over here. No. That's enough to keep you guys busy without having to walk too far. Uh, Simon. Okay, you are filling up the machines. Then you will... Simon. There we go. Heal Rita. Uh, Robert wrote in last time to remind me that this guy needs to be connected to circuit number three. So it's a matter of Simon coming out here and doing that as soon as he uh, heals Rita. Yeah, he's, he's just our, uh, our busybody right now. Running around doing all the things. Scavenged. Wow. That's a lot of fuel to scavenge. Great. Simon reached healing level 2. Good. No research queued. Scavenge those things. Somebody's got an old shirt somewhere. And insufficient storage space is going to keep popping up at us. We have nowhere for these guys or these guys. Well, I guess... I thought there was a 30 out here. Somebody grabbed 20 to do something. Yeah, as we use them up, they'll go away. Is there ore anywhere else? I assume there is. There. So two stacks of 100. Yeah, this is 200 ore. I don't see us using it. But we'll see. So, still cleaning up. Yeah, we're going to bricks for days out here along these fence lines. Yep. So, fill this back in. That looks pretty good again. I wish there was a way to even that out a little bit more, but that's what it is. Carter, are you going to take the stairs? Let's see. <laughs> Turn? There you go. Good. Yeah, that, I'm pretty sure, was a, a patch in an update not too uh, long ago, because... At the beginning, they would only take the hill. They would ignore the stairs every time. But I usually see them on the stairs now. Generators are running like crazy. So even during the day... Well, we're at plus 229. Yeah, we're there now. So generators just turned off. Smoke is clearing. Yeah. And... Now we're plus 69. Oh, generators went away. Okay. So that's plus 70. Another ceiling lamp. That's three of them this episode. I guess the game kind of running out of uh, exciting new things to do. Rita's going to go try the other Draka. Um, needs somebody out here. Carter, you doing what? You're repairing. And then Carter... Yeah, you're in good shape. Come on out here and put all these uh, traps back together again. Do these guys, those, those, and this one. There we go. And Edmund, 
Where are you at? You're on your way back in. You could use a meal. Edmund liked buttermelon pie, which is going to be harder and harder to locate now that the meat has taken over the one freezer we used to put all the meals. I want to tell him to grab a meal so I can assign him to go and butcher those, those birds. Though... We don't actually need the bird meat, I will say that. But, also don't need uh, carcasses just laying out here all the time. Carter's handling a trap. He's in better shape. When you're done, why don't you do it? Oh, turn these guys all to butcher. Carter, take care of those. So we'll have you do that. And Edmund will handle whatever else is, is around here to do. Rita, how you doing? You are in the process. Have you put down the food? You have not. Or have you? No. Which one are we talking about here? There's no pink outline. There you are. Okay. There it is. Put the green down right in the bush. Where you can't find it. Good job. <laughs> Rot it away. Thank goodness. <laughs> We have so many hides scattered around this map. All right, let's see what happens. He's gonna roar at her for a while. Or she, female. So will she be any easier or will she just attack? Succeeded. And Rita, you are in good shape. You can stay up for a while. Let's lead. How to do that. Cannot lead that are interacting with someone. Okay, so we're still in the middle of Yeah. The taming process. Alright, succeeded in taming, lots of hearts. We're happy. And still cannot lead, so gotta gotta wait for a bit. There we go. So lead you to um the opening is we never put the other barn out. Ah, uh, never did. Okay, lead to uh, left click. Okay, Rita lead. Is that going to work? It's going to work. Okay. All the way around the outside to here. Not to here. Well, I don't understand that. I think we're having the same problem we did last time. We'll get closer, and I'll try to correct it. So, this other barn needs to get built. And... It only fits right here, and that's where the gate is. So, how's that going to work? Hmm. We'll see. I mean, can they use this gate... They cannot. It's it's officially blocked. Okay. They could use a gate right here. Let's try for that. Uh, copy and nope. Do not like that at all. Uh huh. No. So we're kind of stuck down here. Could go right there. But is that still in the barn? Let's find out. You copy. You're going to go something like that. Which makes the wall disappear on this one. So it's got to go down one further. Which is right in the gate. Yeah, man, that's tough. So you're going to have to go there. Let's go one further. 
lightning rod right there if we do that then we can get another gate inside of it tell you what we'll just put it in hopefully between the two something will work all right Edmund you are transporting looks like emergency meals good and Carter you are transporting meat so you got the job done you got the job done okay Edmund you did get something to eat you were at 40 something before but I thought you'd be a lot higher than that huh but it is midnight I'll wait till tomorrow to have you do that otherwise yeah let's try one more time here you do not lead pause lead to I guess just to there and Rita will this reset your pathing no it can't seem to get through like we need another one of these out here ha huh. what are the hit points on let's see gates wow it's a big gate integrity 1200 okay versus just a normal fence section uh 250 it would be probably like three or four fence sections that's why it probably accumulates to that yeah but I need you inside somehow. You lead. All right, let's lead to to here. And Rita, what path do you get then? Lead. You're gonna go. Um. 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 Yeah. This is this is gonna take all night. Okay. Draft, undraft, and you get some eat and go to bed. Oh, we'll have to figure this one out. It looks like we're going to need a big gate on the outside. I think that's what it comes down to. These two don't count. So let's go ahead and set that one up as well. So defenses and gate, and we'll go with the carbon metal gates, 900. It's a lot of alloy. And we'll do this. And we have to find a spot that can handle it. We can get into here. Uneven terrain. Can't get anywhere. There's a, there isn't a tree right in the middle. Uneven terrain. Right there. Okay, that's the that's the challenge. We're gonna have to go chase this one down again. I don't know where you're going, but I have a feeling it's all the way back up there. Now, well, give Rita something to do tomorrow. Not like we have any cooking or anything that needs to get done. <laughs> Ah, uh, we can have Carter or somebody else lead him in. All right, Prince, you're not... Oh, you're hanging around. Oh, that's one thing I could do. I could assign a bed. Aha. Uh -huh. So a gate there. So we could skip the gate here if we have it out here. Well, there is that. Okay. Then... Cancel you. Okay. So let's. So you could not have gone any closer, huh? Uh, cancel. Let's do you again. There. So I can't go there. It takes the wall away from the other one, and they can walk right through. I can go right here. If I, what, step it out side just a little bit. Right like that which I was worried was going to block that, but let's call that good. And let's grab a sleeping mat and copy, drop you in there and you in there. Okay, so Carter or Edmund will get on this soon. You want to go in and eat really bad, don't you? Yeah, we don't have any kind of a hunger bar. Well, I guess you know where you belong. You just can't get there. So Simon is transporting. Edmund is eating. 
and Carter. You're in better shape. You need to relax. Why don't you get up now and get that done? So we can make use of you soon. So Edmund, when you're done, you can go for a little bit longer without relaxing. I think you'll be fine. I need this gate done. So you get this job. Uh, deconstruct carbon fences. Which is going to be a little iffy. We have to lead some Olfen back into their pens. Otherwise, what is going on around here? Simon's just collecting bricks. Rita had a long night. Yep, the fewer survivors we have, the less to, uh, the less there is to do to check up on them and see what they're up to. <laughs> Boy, that last episode is going to be boring. <laughs> we'll have to uh, have Carter take a hike or something. All right, tearing this down and rebuild so cut construct do it right now then carter's relaxing simon is still collecting things oh he's working on fuel now all right let's see this go in perfect now close it gate close edmund handle. Perfect. Now, you are still trying to be led into there. So, Edmund, can you do that? Can you lead someone else is interacting with? Rita is harvesting. Carter is visiting. Carter, you can lead instead. Perfect. Hopefully the game immediately understands that that gate is there. Doesn't need a restart or anything. Alright, so... I'm pretty sure this guy cannot go through a single... <laughs> let's tell you, let's reestablish this. Cancel you. Carter. Draft. Okay, you're drafted. You lead to here. Carter, undraft. And someone else is now wants to go pet the Draka. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're leading. Let's draft you so the Carter can now lead. Since he's right here. Alright, you're gonna walk up and you're there you go, you figured it out. Rita, go do what you need to do. So far so good. There we go. Okay. So Edmund, you are relaxing, then you're gonna come out and get these guys going. And then you may as well get there. The oh, Carter's going to get the shelter going. Okay, great. Rita is going to go plant the all-important spot of of uh, grain grass, and the generator is firing up again. Only four miles an hour, or four, only supplying four out of forty wind power right now. So the gas is going to have to do the work. Which, there's 800 left. That's good. Um, I suppose, Simon, it would be good to have you do some more fuel. What you doing now? More transporting. Okay. So your stats are great. Let's ferment all of these. Spend the rest of your day making lots of fuel for those generators. Perfect. Rita's gotten back to cooking. Do we still have a Draka to... We don't. So I guess you get one attempt and then they're no longer queued up anymore. We need a male, right? Uh, over here, you are female. Okay, so we need a male. Closest one at the moment... 
right there. No sense of an age. Retaliation chance 15%. Maybe you're the one that was attempted last time. And so you're now familiar. That might be it. You can go away. These... A CPU is rotted away? What? That one that was sitting out here? Uh, here. Nope, you're still there. A CPU rotted away. Interesting. Edmund, you are scavenging where? You're way over there. Carter's going off over there. Simon's busy. Rita's busy. About to rot away. Don't know where those are at, but let's have Rita bring this one in. Uh, shift. Hall. Okay. Now, where is this? Uh, queued up outside. Don't need it. Uh... How do I say no longer attempt to harvest that? Where is this? That's way up here. So, oh, I see. It's not harvest. It's actually laying on the ground. Okay. Okay. So, back over here. We're just going to go pick that up. And another malfunction ceiling lamp. So, I guess it's time to go through all these ceiling lamps, throw them all away, and start over. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's a thing right now. Okay, so Rita's taking care of that. Edmund, what'd you find? You found scrap metal, and Carter found some more scrap metal. So, oh, that's what it's called? Yeah. So, scrap metal galore. Turn these off. Edmund, where are you at? You're on your way in with your scrap metal. Someone will fix that ceiling lamp, and that's about as exciting as this day has gotten. Well, we got the Draka inside. <laughs> um... You are a bed for a Draka. There we go. So, Rita, you might attempt a taming after this. What did you cook, by the way? Is that... That's not necessarily what's in there. I don't know how to see what's in there. I think that's the next meal. So, if I were to do it this way... No. Oh, you're taking it out. So, what are you... Hauling. We have no idea. But you found a slot in there. Oh, it's an Edmund meal. Edmund, how you doing? You need that. Where are you? You're eating bread. No, 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 no. You're eating buttermelon pie. That's your favorite. Bread. Oh. You're hauling bread, but that doesn't look like... I guess it is bread. Okay. So that's Carter's favorite. So where's he at? He's doing that... Then he's going to grab that bread. Right there. Okay. So Rita is eating berries. <laughs> what was her favorite? Rita, you like meat pie. Um, meat pie is next in the queue. In the stove. But I don't see any actually having been, been uh, made. So now... So, I guess berries is what you get. You've been too busy to uh, to do a lot of cooking. We'll see if you get back to cooking right now, if you just go out to try and coax another Draka in. Taming Draka. There you go. Edmund played a funny prank on Rita. Um, how funny was that prank, I, I wonder? Yeah, not too funny. <laughs> Rita... Edmund, yeah. Oh, well. Edmund, why don't you go fix a light? What's he up to? You are repairing him. So Rita's taming. Simon is adding wood to the stoves. Were there ever electric stoves? There probably were. I just didn't see the, uh, the point of... Uh, where is that? Light and heat. Power production, right? Didn't see the point of spending electricity. Aggressive animals. Ooh. Where at? Ah, oh boy. These are some serious ones. And a whole cloud of, of 
these guys. So, seven Junos, 60 Scarabai, hitting us next episode at one in the morning? Yeah, one in the morning. Great. Um, Rita, let's, let's, let's pass on that one. Your rest is actually pretty good, but you're going to be out there for quite some time. Uh, I think you could probably get there and back okay. But boy, if you don't, those Junos will, uh, will tear you apart. Let's let you. I think you'll make it. Carter, you are transporting and then eating. Simon is doing piddly stuff around. And Edmund is repairing. Everything's built. Fences are in. Fence works well here still. Got no wall on this side, but we're still blocked in, so we're fine. You are bringing leathers. So much leather. From all of those Ulfen that are drying in the rack over here. So much leather. What does it look like here? Right there? Leather. No, it's not there. Where's the fabric? There it is. 2,000 leather so far. Yep. Now, food-wise, we're all sharing this trough and we're keeping up with it, so probably no need for, for a second trough at this point. So we'll have, although we don't have a lot of, uh, of hay, we'll need to take care of that. But this battle we're going to fight next episode. Where'd you guys go? Right over here. Nobody is attacking anything else right now. And, Edmund, that's probably not a wise idea. Um, you rest 20 hundred. Just work on this guy. If you've got to go out and do something, why don't you do that? Carter, you're eating. Then, who knows what you're going to do. Simon is going to visit a Draka. That's fine. But Carter, what are you up to? You're getting a drink. Okay. So, I think this would be a good place to call this one done. Next episode, we will uh, we'll play with these guys. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye now.